What's up crafters? If you've ever considered creating sublimation designs, but what's holding you back is you don't have the software for it, let me clue you in on something that is going to change everything for you. Canva.com is an online software and an app that allows you to create those graphics for free. Now Canva does have a paid version that allows you to access additional clip art and things like that, but using free resources like designbundles.net, Creative Fabrica, things that you've previously purchased, you can avoid signing up for that subscription. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up and download sublimation graphics that are ready to print today. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is go to canva.com. Now your homepage may look slightly different than mine, but what we're paying attention to is the top right hand corner while it says create a design. We're going to tap on that. So when you click on create a design, it's going to populate a bunch of different suggestions, but we're going to ignore all of those suggestions and we're going to drop down to custom size. We're going to tap that button. Now, depending on if you've used this app or not before, your width and height measurements might be a little bit different. Most of the time, it's going to show up in pixels. You are going to want to change that pixels into inches. Now keep in mind that you are gonna need certain things in order to print off a sublimation design, whether that's a sublimation printer or a converted printer. You are gonna need special paper and special ink, stuff like that. But for the sake of this video, let's assume that you guys already have that stuff set up. So for the purposes of this video, we're just gonna go ahead and slide in with a 15 by 15. And this is gonna give you guys a blank canvas so that you know exactly what you're doing. Now there are a ton of elements inside of Canva that you have access to. Anything with this little crown here is gonna be a part of the pro membership. You are gonna need that subscription that I mentioned earlier in order to access this stuff, but if you don't, there is still a massive amount of amazing resources that you can pull in. You just have to type in your keyword searches. For example, fall, there is a lot of graphics here. You can also use kind of radio slider thing up at the top and you can filter things for free. So one cool thing about Canva is if you find something that you like, but it's not quite what you were looking for, if you click on it, Canva pops up a little magic recommendations. And this is things that kind of fit that same vibe, the same art style, stuff like that. So you can really pull in a lot of different elements. They also have text elements. Some of these are pro. However, a lot of these are free. So you can click on this and easily change out what is there. So inside of Canva, there are so many amazing clip art and features and things like that. And you can upload your own custom graphics. It could make anyone feel like a designer and allow you the opportunity to really create something unique and custom for your client base and your crafts. Once you have your design all laid out, in order to download it into a sublimation ready print, all you have to do is go up to the top right corner where it says share. This is going to bring up the download options. We're going to go ahead and select download and we are going to mess with this drop down box here. Now by default, it will be a PNG image. We don't want that. What we're going to do is go for PDF printing. So this is going to allow us to download this particular graphic in the appropriate size, color, and dots per inch, which is going to give us that high quality sublimation print. If you click on this, you'll notice that there's RGB and CMYK. For sublimation, leave it at the RGB. Now clicking on download the image, a box is gonna appear and it's going to ask you to fill out the name and save it wherever it is that you want. Now I'm gonna open this in Photoshop to show you guys that it kept the size and the dots per inch that we need in order to print off our high quality prints. As you can see, our inches are still there and our pixels per inch are still there, which is going to give us a quality print. When you print this out on your sublimation printer, that white background is not gonna be there and you are gonna be left with a kick butt design that you did all by yourself. And if you found this video helpful, I think you'll really like this video. I walk you through another Canva sublimation design from start to finish using clip art that I grabbed from one of the free days over at creativefabrica.com. Until next time, guys. Bye.